with Cincinnati over and done with, the seedings for the US Open are now officially locked in, and we have some really interesting changes this week because of the Cincinnati results. Let's go have a look at the ladies' seeds for the US Open that are locked in now. So of course we've got 32 seeds at the US Open being a Grand Slam. Starting at number 32, we've got Elise Mertens, was Kova at 31, Kastea at 30, Chocchi Areto at 29, Kalanina at 28, Potapova comes in at 27, Svetlina seeded at this event. Of course, she's done really well at the last two slams, making the semifinals of Wimbledon a month ago. She's at 26, Pliskova at 25, Lynette comes in at 24 with Zhang at number 23, Alexandra over at 22, Beckage comes in at 21 with Ostapenko at number 20. Hadajmaier will come in at number 19 with Azarenka at 18. And Keys will come in at number 17. And of course, remember, the top 16 won't play the bottom 16 until the third round. So there are some tough opponents there, such as Ostapenko could be a third round opponent for someone like a Sviontek. Hadajmaier could be, in a, you know, again, a Sviontek or maybe even a Sabalenka third round. Azarenka as well, very dangerous players. Then you've got Kudamatova at 16, Benchic at 15, Samson over at 14, Kazakina at 13, Krajikova at 12, Kvitova at 11, Mukova at 10, Wondrusova at 9, and now for the top 8, who of course won't be playing until the quarterfinals at the very earliest. We've got Zachary at number 8, Garcia at 7, Goff at 6, Jabur at 5, and the top 4, who won't play until the semifinals. Rabakina at 4, Pagula at 3, Sabalenka at 2, and of course, Sviontek at 1. Remember that top 8, they won't be playing until the quarterfinals, so of course, we could be getting a quarterfinal, maybe Goff versus Sviontek. Could be a quarterfinal. We just saw it last week, and there could be a fourth round match between Mukova and Sabalenka and like we saw last week in Cincinnati. So there are some interesting matchups potentially early in the second week. Going over the men's seeds now, and again, 32 seeds in this one. Starting at 32 with Jera. Quarter will be 31. Echeverry at 30. Umber 29. 28 seed is Eubanks. 27 is Chorich. 26 is Evans. Bublik comes in at 25. Grigsport at 24. Jarry at 23. Manorino will be 22nd seed. Fakina at 21. Sarundalo at 20. Dimitrov at 19. Musetti at 18. And Hercatch at 17. And that is going to be very dangerous to see where Hubie Hercatch falls in the draw because he could play one of those top guys as early as a third round if the draw plays out. So he will be very interesting to see where he falls. Nori comes in at 16 with Oji Eliasim at 15, Paul at 14, Diminor at 13, Zverev at 12, Hashinov at 11, Tiafo at 10, Fritz at 9. And now for the top eight, Rublev. He comes in at number eight with Sidzi Pass at number seven, Sinner at six, Rude at five, Runa at number four, which is the highest seed he's been at a slam so far in his career. Medvedev at three, Djokovic at two, and Alcaraz as the top seed and the defending champion. And again, he's the number one seed for the third straight slam in a row ahead of Djokovic. So that'll be interesting. And of course, remember, top eight can't play until the quarterfinals. So we could get a Sinner versus Alcaraz quarterfinal. Remember last year, we had that amazing match. And of course, the top four can't play until the semi. So Runa, really lucky there. He won't have to play those top three guys until the semifinals at the earliest. So there it is. The seeds locked in for the US Open. And there are some really interesting matchups. Where will her catch fall in the draw? Because he is been in good form. I mean, last week, he almost beat Elkrez. He had match points in Cincinnati. So where he falls in the draw will be crucial for the success of some of those real top guys, you know, the Medvedevs and Alcarazes of the world. And on the women's side, someone like a Daj Meyer or even Ostapenko, we all know how dangerous she can be, could fall in the draw of someone like Sviontek or maybe even a Sabalenka in the first week. So the US Open draw comes out on Thursday. It's going to be really interesting to see where some of those players fall. But let me know down in the comments below. What are you most shocked about with the seedings? Or maybe what are you most scared about? Or who are you most scared about? If you're a fan of one of the big contenders that are playing, who are you most afraid of in the first couple of rounds? But they're the seedings locked in for the final slam of the year. US Open starts in a week.